Hamilton is always so lively and fun. And they sell great souvenirs! Luga, is this your first time visiting Sheraton? If there's anything you'd like to know about the city, I would be honored to educate you. Ah, so that's what interests you. As you seem to be aware, wherever people gather, such stories always seem to follow. They do? But I've never heard of any ghost stories here. Oh? Even the stories about the Cheryl Manor where you've stayed so many nights? Huh? We're not falling for your jokes, Rowan! I'm afraid there's nothing humorous about this. That manor dates back to the era of the six ruling houses. Naturally, it has a story or two to tell. Perhaps the most famous is the tale of the Headless Sentry. Headless... Sentry? <laughs> yes. They say he wanders the manor every night, searching for his dismembered head. He opens one door, not there. He moves on to the next room, not there either. <laughs> and then... With a loud crash, the door to your room suddenly opens. Ah! Oh, my. What joy to get such a drastic reaction to my humble tale. while I was out snooping for leads. She said a bunch of spurious agents have gone missing in action. Mighty spurious agents, MIA? Must be one dangerous job. She thinks a fractured dimension might have something to do with it. Vera here. We've detected a new fractured dimension, but... Agents go in, but they don't come out. Am I right? So you've already heard. Is it that dangerous? All I can tell you is that an agent's ability level determines the level of danger. The last communication I received from an agent indicated that the Divergence Catalyst was an extremely powerful monster. Wonderful. Stand by for the coordinates of the Fractured Dimension. The rift is in Burmia Gorge. Do be careful. I'm coming too. I don't like the sound of this one bit. And I owe you one anyway. I'll come too. If I didn't, who knows what horrible things our intrepid reporter here would write about me. Do you have to invent an excuse every time you help someone? these men with you. Huh? And who is this doofus right here? So Jude dumped you. And this guy's your rebound? Really now? What? No. Whatever. Do you want to write your stupid story about the monster here, or what? About ecosystems and poachers, or whatever. Weird to hear you talk about complicated stuff like that. Huh? Um... Hello, your story! Uh, yeah. And Leia asked us along for backup in case there was any fighting. Right, Leia? Not a bad idea. The poachers have stuck that damn beast so many times, it's out of its mind. Uh, right! Oh, what an airhead. I'm going on ahead. What is wrong with her? Well, we might as well follow her. Yeah, if 
we're lucky, maybe she'll lead us to a clue. Well, I never would have expected this. You and Agria chasing down a story together? What exactly is going on here? How should I know? I guess we work for the same company in this world? I don't know. Agria's a journalist? Oh boy. Although she does seem a lot more pleasant than the Agria from our world. She was an odd one. It was like she refused to get along with anyone. It's hard to find the right words. Anyhow, I never thought I'd see her again. How am I supposed to react to this? I never thought you'd ask me that. How am I supposed to respond to this? Hey, don't imitate me. <laughs> oh, come on, you thought that was funny? I don't sound anything like that. But hey, I still think you need to get out of your head. React naturally. Don't overthink it. Wait, you were trying to change my mood? Oh? Just a gentle push from a mature adult. No need to fall all over yourself thanking me. Trust me, I won't. Agria seems surprisingly eager to work with you. Yeah, I guess this is a future we could have had. you go?
Sorry about that. Time for our friend. Hello there. So, I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say that's the monster? This won't be easy. Hm. It's no surprise the whole ecosystem's out of whack with that thing on the loose. Those damn Olympian poachers really did a number on it. Nothing left to do but put it out of its misery. The poachers are from Olympias? Duh! Isn't that what your stupid story is about? Bloodthirsty Olympian thrill seekers? How awful. I hate those Olympians. I hate them to bits. Massacring spirits with their spirits like it's no big whoop. But Maxwell made it so they can keep using their spirits for a while, right? It's still a fact that spirits kill spirits. And they just put it out of their minds. Just because they're too stupid to channel spirits, they think they're entitled to use their damn Spyrix. Won't be long before Reza Maxi is a wasteland, just like Olympias. But that's why everyone's working so hard on Spyrite technology. What? You're taking their side now? It's not like that. It's just, I've seen people in Olympias who are trying really hard to solve these problems. And I want to believe them. That's who you choose to believe? Huh, you really are the most gullible person alive. <laughs> Seriously? They treat us like we're a bunch of barbarians. Oh, and then there was that time they tried to invade Rizamaxia and turn us into fuel. Remember? Why the hell would anyone ever trust them? What? Have you got a problem with that? Huh? Ow! What the hell? The 
This is no time to be picking fights. We gotta put that beast down, remember? Fine. Then I'll handle this myself. Wait! Uh. Agria! This is her Agria! Keep your cool. This is a fractured dimension. I know that, but that shouldn't matter. Let's <laughs> go. 
out over every little thing. Did you honestly think that would kill me? That's no reason to kick me. <laughs> that was payback for earlier. Hmm? Oh, th thanks. Tell me something. Do you really trust them? Let's be honest now. Huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, Olympias is in a tough spot, too. I know that some of them look down on Riza Maxia. But if we really work at it, we can reach a place of mutual trust and respect. Right? Guess it worked out for you and me. When the Nia Kara Holomont collapsed, you were there and reached out your hand. And thanks to you, I'm still here. Stop grinning like an idiot! Anyway, we're done here. Now it's time for you to do your job. Go home and write your article, Leia. Here we thought that would be tough. I barely broke a sweat. Hey, it's necessary to destroy all those fractured dimensions, right? I mean, we did the right thing, didn't we? It had better be the right thing. Otherwise, they're all dying for nothing. Luger, you think it'd be okay if I wrote an article about the fractured dimensions? 
about the people who lived there and what they were like and why they needed to be destroyed? Hmm. If you did that, I suppose they'd live on, in a way. Well, I'm beat. Gonna grab some grub and some shut-eye. Watch over me, okay?